I absolutely love children. They just embrace my soul. I believe there's a difference in having children and wanting children. The latter was me. Children have a way of putting you on a pedestal. They think you're invincible and you can do anything. And I mean everything. Children make you feel special and they have a unique way of stealing your whole heart. But yet they are so innocent and fun loving. They don't worry about how their hair looks. They don't worry much about anything. They just embrace life. And I think maybe we should all take lessons. My nieces and nephews have always played an important part in my life. I always smiled when people thought at 28 I had four children tagging along. The kids loved me and I loved them. So we spent a lot of time together. As children, most of us have a family pet. The pet is such a special part of our lives. We love that animal. One year at the fair, my husband Jay and I helped them win a duck. I thought my brother was going to kill me. The kids were so attached so quickly to the duck, it had to go home. What do you do with a duck in the city limits? He kept saying, Cindy, what am I going to do with this duck when it grows up? I always said with a big smile, I don't know. Well, it was a sunny afternoon and the kids were in their pool swimming. And so was the duck. Of course, her pool was right beside theirs and it was a bucket. My nephew, the oldest, was jacking around and hit a golf ball. Smack! He had hit the duck. It had hit her on the neck and it knocked her out instantly. Her neck grew with a huge goose egg. It was so heavy, it flipped her head right down in the water. The kids were screaming and I was running. As I ran, I was thinking, oh, oh my gosh now, now what? I pulled the duck out of the bucket and laid her on her back. Frantically, I began rubbing her chest thumping her chest. Meanwhile, in the background, the littlest niece of all squatted beside me, sobbing and saying, Daisy, Daisy, don't die. Daisy, Aunt Cindy, do something. My heart was wrenching with hurt for her. I continued on in my attempt to save Daisy, the duck. Finally, I reached down, cradled her in my hand, and started, yes, I really did, CPR on the duck. Of course, my sister-in-law was laughing so hard, she could hardly stand up. I was so intent to save Daisy, the kids were depending on me. I patted her chest, I blew air in her beak, patted her chest, blew air, and finally her little eyes opened, and she sputtered. It was a miracle, Daisy was alive. Of course, Daisy had a hard time walking with her head hung by her side. Everyone was so happy, we saved sweet, sweet Daisy. As I sat back on the grass in amazement, all I could think of was, I really didn't just do CPR on a duck. Did I? Yuck. Was, oh, my mouth was on her beak. No flipping way. I surely didn't. Oh, yuck. It is amazing what you will do in a time of a crisis for a small child. Or maybe even a duck.